Always two there are, a master and an apprentice. No more, no less. I'm sure many of you who are really into Star Wars have heard of the rule of two and may know a thing or two about it. <laughs> See what I did there? But I am certain that I have new that I have some information in here that is new and interesting for all of you, no matter how much you know about the rule of two. For instance, did you know that there is actually a Sith Lord in Re in Legends who wanted to abolish the rule of two? All that and more on today's episode of Star Wars Nerds and Geeks. So, the Rule of Two. The Rule of Two was created by the Sith Lord Darth Bane, who lived during the Brotherhood of Darkness era. Now, I could talk all about Darth Bane, and as a matter of fact, I'm working on a series about Darth Bane as we speak. But anyways, here's the rundown. Darth Bane lived in the Brotherhood of Darkness era. The Brotherhood of Darkness was just an army of Sith, just like there was an army of Jedi. And these two armies clashed against each other, um, in devastating wars that would shape the galaxy for centuries upon centuries to come, all the way up until the um, all the way up to the movies and beyond. So the Brotherhood of Darkness worked by uh, they proclaimed that every person in the Brotherhood was equal. Darth Bane saw that and he said that's not right. So he killed off the entire Brotherhood of Darkness to create his own um, way of uh, living like a Sith, and that is what I'm going to talk about. So the Sith and the Jedi each have their own little mantras that they live by, and I'm going to tell you the Sith mantra. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. So the Sith are all, uh, they covet power, they love power, that's what we learn to, that's what we learn about the Sith during the movies, during the legends, through the new canon, that's what the Sith are all about, they love their power. And so that's why the Brotherhood of Darkness didn't work. Everybody wanted power, um, but if everyone's equal, who has the most power? They want to know, but no one has the most power, it's not uh, natural for the Sith. So the rule of two fixes this. The rule of two uh, works by there being a master and an apprentice. And the master uh, finds an apprentice, and generally the apprentice that they find is relatively young, but they have still experienced the horrors of the galaxy. They've been shaped by um, the, the galaxy and they have pain in their life. So they take their apprentice, and the masters train their apprentice. They pass on everything they know so that their apprentice can be as good as them and soon be better than them. And soon will come a time where the apprentice covets the power that the master has, and when the apprentice takes all the power, learns all the power of the master, they want to know who's stronger. So the apprentice challenges the master and uh, when, if and when the apprentice kills the master, if the apprentice kills the master, then the apprentice has proven that they are stronger than the ma master. And since they're stronger than the master, they are now the new master and they find their own apprentice. Now, if the master beat the apprentice, then, well, the apprentice is now dead. So the master has to find a new apprentice and pass on what they have learned. So generally, the Sith uh, apprentices never wanted to lose because A, they died, they didn't want to die, who wants to die? But B, the master would have much less time to train a new apprentice and the new apprentice might even be weaker than the uh, master. So uh, because there is less time to train the apprentice, the second apprentice than there was the first one. So the theory is um, essentially that the master will that the apprentice will become as powerful as the master and then when the apprentice challenges the master and wins the apprentice is now more powerful than the master was so therefore this the uh sith have become stronger uh have become stronger over time and now the the apprentice who has now become a master 
takes their own apprentice, and when their apprentice becomes pow more powerful than the master, then that apprentice has now increased the power of the Sith, and so on and so on. So the Sith are constantly gaining power through this. There were some problems with the Rule of Two, however. The first of which is one that Darth Bane experienced, and that is that the apprentice is failing to attack the, uh, to try and kill the master. See, if you're the apprentice, um, it might be more beneficial for you to wait for the master to become more vulnerable, more tired, more old, more weak, so that you can successfully kill them. However, this doesn't increase the power of the Sith, because the master is not at their full strength, so therefore you are not elevating above the power of the master. Sometimes you're actually weaker than the master. Of course, Darth Bane ended up realizing, or we end up realizing the reader, that Darth Bane was just paranoid and his apprentice Zana was just um, waiting for the right opportunity. However, their fight was fair, it was just, and it proved that Zana was the more powerful of the two. And so therefore the Sith got stronger. However, there are Sith Lords throughout the time that have decreased the power of the Sith. They were weaker than their masters. They used trickery and they didn't elevate the status of the Sith. They just dropped it. So at the beginning, I promised you the story of a Sith who rejected the rule of two. And while there are probably a lot of Sith who rejected the rule of two, this do you guys hear that? I have no clue what that is. I hope it's not a monster. Um, moving on. Uh, like I was saying, this is a Sith that you are probably all familiar with. That is Darth Plagueis. That's right, Darth Plagueis, or at least according to legends, was going to disband the rule of two. He took the apprentice... He took his, uh, he took Palpatine as an apprentice, so there were a master and an apprentice, but pa but Plagueis' goal was to uh, gain immortality, to live indefinitely, and for his Padawan Palpatine to live indefinitely, and then for both of them to get equal power, so that both of them are equals in a sense. Uh, Darth Plagueis would run the more force side of the more like mystical side and then play Darth uh, Sidious would run the more politics side and that way they would control the galaxy indefinitely. However this did undermine the rule of two because uh, the apprentice uh, Sidious would never be able to take on Plagueis and he would never be able to prove that he is stronger than Plagueis and then uh, elevate the power of the Sith, and then get a new apprentice who could elevate the Sith even more. So it was a nice theory by Plagueis to make them both the most powerful beings and um, live indefinitely, but it was just not realistic, and in the end, that is why Sidious killed Plagueis. So now many of you are probably thinking, well, what about Asaz Ventress? What about Savage Opress? What about all those people? Well, those weren't technically a part of the Rule of Two, and in fact, Darth Maul, according to Legends, also was like Savage Opress and Asaz Ventress and wasn't part of the Rule of Two. That's a teaser for a new video coming out soon. Um, but anyways, these three people, and actually probably more, these are just the only ones I can think of, they aren't part of the Rule of Two, they aren't the apprentice, and they will never challenge the master to become the master. Now, yes, the uh, apprentice, in this case Dooku with Savage Opress and Asaz Ventress, were using them to possibly take out their master Sidious so that Dooku could become the master, but uh, that never actually happened. And in Sidious's eyes, uh, Asaz Ventress and Savage Opress were justified in the rule of two because neither of them were, um, were actual Sith Lords, technically. None of them were Sith Lords. They didn't get the title of Darth. They were simply um, assassins. They were trained in the dark side of the Force. They used lightsabers, 
but they weren't true Sith Lords. They just wielded lightsabers and could do the Sith's dirty work. So that is how people such as that, that were trained by uh, the Sith, were outside the rule of two, could um, exist in the laws, I say that in quotations, of the rule of two. Um, but I think that's all I can talk about about the rule of two. Um, you know, the rule of two is a very interesting topic. It's like the Sith uh, law almost. It's the law that all Sith have to follow, which is really interesting because Sith are kind of outside the law. They see themselves outside the law, and yet they have their own law that they have to follow, which is, I don't know, kind of ironic, as Palpatine would say. But stay tuned for Darth Bane, Darth Maul videos, and um, until next time, this is Star Wars Nerds and Geeks signing off. See you all next time. Star Wars Nerds and Geeks. It is I, Darth Jade. You promised me a part in this. For I am a Sith, and I know all about the rule of two. And yet, you didn't put me in the video. Watch out, Mr. Nerds and Geeks. You will pay.